I love your costume. <laughs> I love it. Is you. this the same costume that, that we see in the film? Uh, no, this is actually a new costume for the release of Mass Effect 3. Okay. So I, I wore it for the premiere of that. Yeah. So it's like version 3.1 or something. <laughs> <laughs> very, very exciting. So I have to say, as an audience member, yeah. the tone of this film feels a little bit different. Than, than your other films. Does it did it feel like that for you in production and in post? No, I mean I think I think the film still has very much of, you know, my my imprint on it. I think the film it still feels fun. I think it still has a real sense of humor and a sense of purpose. Um, but I think, you know, for me just to kind of step back and to get to be behind the camera the entire time on this film was was a godsend. It was great. You know, I think it uh, yeah, I, I think for me this is a story that is so about the fans and, and this culture and the people who embrace it every day of their lives from the artists to the costume designers to the comic book vendors to the collectors that I really wanted to make sure I wanted to make sure that it was their story completely. Yeah, well it's got kind of a celebratory tone yeah. to it. Um, which which I thought was kind of a little bit different than, mm -hmm. than some of the other stuff, but it's great. So what do you guys make of, I mean, this is all about Comic-Con and, and geeks kind of have a place to be together and, and feel like they're family, but this is really, there's been a rise of geek culture all over the place. Mm -hmm. What do you kind of make of that phenomenon? I think that, uh, you know, people have finally realized that geeks are cool and being a geek is cool and geeks actually do have most of the power today in, uh, in the world in the entertainment business and the computer industry and video games and everything else. So I think that uh, it's all just come full circle, you know, and, and everybody loves the be. I think everybody loves the idea of what geek is. Being a geek is now acceptable. So, uh, you know, it's, it's not wrong to wear a Green Lantern t-shirt anymore. Now you got frat guys wearing Green Lantern t-shirts. Do you think there's a downside to any of that? Um, I don't think there's a downside <laughs> at all. It's just, you know, it, it makes it more acceptable. And it's, I think it, everyone's realizing they're a fan of something and it's okay to show that. Yeah. I think that's important. Yeah, there was a time where if you collected things, you were weird. That if you had action figures, figures you know, you were, that, you were an oddball. And now it's so completely normal to collect any and all of these things and to openly, you know, exude your passion for them. I think that's, uh, and it's almost embraced. Like, if, if, to be passionate about something, people respect. I am kind of a nerd for creature effects and the kind of costume <laughs> that you do, and I'm so, I loved watching your storyline. I was like, where's Holly? What's going on with Holly? <laughs> um, so this is really exciting because you've started to work some. Is yeah. that, do you think it's from the film or from sort of the Masquerade Ball, the attention of the Masquerade Ball at Comic Con? Well, I mean, the, since the film hasn't even really come out yet, so yeah. I mean, I don't even know what's going to happen with that. That's, that's over my head. <laughs> um, I mean, after the masquerade, I mean, we just kept, you know, working and trying to get out there and get jobs. And Bio were actually hired us to make costumes for them. And I ended up moving to L.A. and getting out of San Bernardino. And it just kind of, you know, I met all kinds of cool people. And it just sort of snowballed out of control into a big bundle of awesome. So... Well, that was exactly what I was hoping was going to happen as an audience member. So yeah. it's very gratifying nice. to see that at the end. So this is obviously, as we've been saying, about the geeks and, and the geek out moments and the celebration of the love. So for you guys, yeah. what's been your one moment that just made you sort of squeal the person that you met? And how about you? Have you ever had one of those moments? Uh, you go first, and I'll tell, and I'll tell mine, yeah. Um, well, you know, I... You just meet so many people at Comic Con; it's ridiculous. But my, I mean, my first my first time at Comic Con, I got to see like some of the props from Hellboy up close, and that just blew my mind. That's what hooked me to everything. Is I got to like someone was dressed in like the official like crazy Hellboy like Cronenberg like mechanical guy, and we I took a picture with him, and I was like, this is awesome. These are the props from the movie. Like this is it. This is amazing. So I kind of like squealed for the first time then. <laughs> yeah. And for me, it was um, in 2009. I was in. I was at my very first Comic Con. Um, I was doing the Simpsons special for Fox, and I met Stan Lee that night. And it was the meet. And for me, it was like to meet the legend, the guy who basically turned me on to comics in essence and made it cool for me to want to tell stories. Um, you know, to get to meet him. And it was out of that meeting that this whole movie got made. You know, so it was like meeting him that night. You know, a year later, we were making this film with Stan Lee, Joss Whedon, Thomas Tull, Harry Knowles. I mean, it was. It was phenomenal. So for me, that was like the greatest geek out moment I could have ever had. Seen any of the Avengers? Have I seen any of the Avengers? I've seen bits. How's it look? I've seen it. 